Well, I was just doing a little checking in on the solar melter here, and um, it's failed me, much as I expected it would. Not because of poor design, but because of poor effort. Uh, so we had a few days where it got up close to 100 degrees, and um, that was all the melt that I got out of it, that little bit down there on the bottom. And it didn't, I don't believe it dripped through underneath, it just, it got to that lip there, and that was all it would do. But, now it's only about 85 degrees today, and the wax is soft enough that I can just rake it off with my finger. So it is, it's close, it's softening the wax. Um... It's just not enough to melt it rapidly, you know, to make it want to run. So there is some benefit here. I am getting the um, a little bit of the solar bleaching. Bees are still finding their way in and they can smell the wax. But I believe my main issue now is that really the thing is not sealed up at all. It's got, uh, you know, it's, it's not airtight by any means. It's got all full of air leaks and... You know, water leaks. My catch pan of my catch pan for the wax is full of water. I guess from the rain that we've had. Somehow found its way in. I think my roof here is. I think it runs this way and then runs underneath and goes back. So I know there's a lot of problems. Um, I know it's not perfect. So you know I'll be the first to admit it. If you guys are trying to copycat off me, that's fine. But you need to change some things. Uh, it's way too big of a of a cavity. It's way too big of a space to have to try to heat up. I really need to condense it down to make a, a much smaller uh, concentrated space to where I can have you know a panel on top and the wax is directly under that panel so it can really consume the heat as much as it possibly can. Of course I didn't even paint the thing black. That would have helped. Uh, but you know if you want to see a good one, a simple one, um, look up Ralph Jones. Uh, he's got um, you know he's an old chest freezer and he just cut a hole in the top of the lid and put a piece of glass in instead. And you can't go wrong. I mean, that's just as simple as it can get. And that's what I wanted to do. It's what I'd still like to do. Um, but I just, I'm not, at this point, I'm not that pushed to do it. Not so much that I want to go running around looking for free freezers. I can't find them. I get on Craigslist and look for free freezers, and they're not there. So somebody, I guess, is collecting them before they hit Craigslist. I don't know, because they should be out there. Got a bunch of people trying to sell for $50 and $75, and I almost bit off on that, but... Just not that desperate. Just figured I'd throw this together. I threw this together for free out of scraps that I had. But by that same token, it's not working. So <laughs> really, this has cost me too. It's cost me time and effort, wasted effort. So anyway, like I said, just wanted to share that with you. I was surprised actually just now when I, when I reached out. I was surprised to feel that the wax was as soft as it was, uh, given that it's not all that hot today. So like I said, that's a good sign that it's wanting to work. Um, just not quite there. So, you know, probably if I'd seal it up airtight and condense it down a little bit, it'd work just fine. Uh, and it worked just like all the other designs that you see that do work. Uh, anyway, yeah, just thought I'd share that a little bit. Certainly, you know, you could copycat this design if you want, no problems, but uh, you need to tweak some things.